still water inside this cave. Looking at some old bottles here, old ketchup bottle, old beer bottle. The back. Looks like there's evidence of an old uh, wood floor here, so definitely some old uh, timber in the floor here. Looking back towards the entrance, that's with my flashlights. A little bit of a, well, that's weird, a little bit of a hole there. Floor's a little bit wet, not much. Not sure what this is all about. It's some kind of a, looks like probably iron or copper goes into that hole. I don't know if somebody put that there. Yeah, it seems like it was actually pretty stiff. It was actually drilled in here for some reason. Pretty cool. Oh, it looks like they're all, oh, look at this. So they're, this looks like soil from the surface or dirt. So there was obviously something else going on here as far as must, this must go up to the surface. So I'm towards the back end of this cave in Stillwater. For sure had a wooden floor as you can see here. There's uh, remnants of wood in the floor. So whatever was in here wasn't sitting directly on the floor. Here's the very back end. Probably not a natural cave. Here's a curious feature. So that looks like basically soil that's closer to the surface. So it looks like there, at one point, somebody dug in, or maybe that was the natural cave in the beginning. Uh, there's kind of a uh, berm here of a soil that looks like it's from the surface. It's also got, I think it's got concrete in it. I'll take a peek. Oh, wow. Okay, that's gonna be scary, but there is another cave back there. This might be the natural cave. All right, I'm gonna go take a peek carefully. So it looks like a whole nother cave system. Some very dark material back there, don't know what it is. Some like bricks towards the center of the floor there. It's rough. And it's a ton of backfill, so I guess this probably went out to the, I don't know why there's so much uh, soil in here. Interesting. This one's got a bit of a ledge. All right, I might go all the way in. An odd thing. Looks like a uh, half a coconut. Or some kind of, yeah, it's probably a coconut. So that's there's the back end. Obviously, there's been some ceiling collapse. So this cave, strangely enough, looks like it has a cement foundation. Man, it looks like really fresh concrete. 
So the one corner of the cave here is cement. That's back towards the rubble pile there. Oh, look! Oh, now I see it. I see the uh, actual wall that encloses it. So there's the there's the wall to the outside. Man, they did a lot of backfill. Okay. Another hole. Borehole of some type. Looking for... So this is obviously a man-made cave. Again, <laughs> probably not the safest cave in the world. Because that is... Probably was the ceiling, or the edge. Try to get a picture. So I'm not sure what this is. Is this some kind of cement coating? Might be they just gussied up the cave with cement. But it's very heavy, whatever it is. It's essentially stone. Try to get a better look at the cross section. I mean, it really looks like stone to me. Unless it's just when the concrete fell out, it grabs some of the, uh, just a uh, curious, yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be they hit it with stone and maybe somebody lit a fire or some more of it. Uh, uh, this maybe tells me something. Yeah, that looks to be concrete. So, it got seed up the inside of this cave with concrete. So, and again, there's the, there's the rubble pile. They seal it. Or first they backfill it, then they seal it with a bunch of uh, bricks. And then my way out to the other cave is right there. So I'm going to have to go ahead first. That'll be fun. Anyways, one more look all the way around. Looking towards the back here. There's the back. There's that cement curb. The ceiling. Little drill hole. Obviously some of the ceiling that fell down over the years. Some more collapse there on this side. So. Yep. Alright, well I'm going back. Wish me luck. Hopefully I can get out of here. Oh, I'm scared. Looks like we got some remnants of copper. Got that copper patina on it. Don't know what it is. Definitely some old hunks of iron. Could have been banding for some of the barrels in here, maybe. Uh, oh, look at this. Hey, it's an old uh, square nail. Huge. Probably for bigger timber. So. Kind of some fun artifacts. Not much in this cave for artifacts. I'm sure it's got picked over already. But alrighty. Well, I'm about done. Oh, piece of plate glass. Ooh, that's. Her. So one thing I do notice about this cave is a total lack of any graffiti. So. Probably been pretty well sealed, and here's an, a board that probably held the planks that crisscrossed it, so nothing came in contact with the floor, as I mentioned earlier. Actually, there's a, uh, there it is right there. Uh, so, another one. So, it, 
nothing was right on the floor. Oh. Just a piece of lot number. So it looks like they, I don't know, they probably space these boards about every two feet. There's the remnants of whatever was they used for lumber up in this pile. There's my way out, pretty tight opening, exit, whatever. Recollect my lights. A little bit of a hole in the ceiling here. And there's so the first one for sure in there because that was like a nice clean berm. That's to that other cave. So there's my track, my body prints going up there through that hole. Went like right through there, like, like a gopher. The back of the cave. So, might have been a beer lagering cave. I'm not sure. Could have been something else. Could have been just a commercial sized root cellar. Pretty sure the other one with the uh, cement uh, curbing on the sides there. That was probably, I'm going to guess, something other than somebody's personal root cellar.